If taking your business from hobby, something that you're kind of doing as a side hustle, to pro, to something that's actually paying your bills in 2021 is on your radar, then this video is for you. I'm gonna talk about four things every photographer needs to go from hobby to pro to set yourself up for success. So running a smarter business, making sure that you have the systems and the softwares in place so that you can have and reach the success that you want this year in your photography business. So one super common pushback I often hear from photographers is, do I really need to build this system or have this software or put these things in place in my business? And I wanna share with you my philosophy around this. And you know, to answer your question, has somebody done it and been successful without these things? Yes, but they're probably the exception to the rule. And instead of thinking, you know, do I have to spend this bit of money to get where I wanna go? Start thinking and stepping into the role of a photo boss and really thinking in terms of valuing your time. Your time and my time are our most precious resources. We cannot renew them. There is a set amount, that's it. We can't buy more time, we can't borrow more time, it just, is right whereas my money is a renewable resource i can make more money and there's no amount of money that i cap at there's no one that says oh you've made five thousand dollars this month you can't have any more whereas time does cap so what's important to me and what should be really important to you is building a business where it has a really strong foundation for you to think smart where when you're not working, when you're not shooting or editing, you have your time to yourself and you're not busy in your inbox and you're not lost in the weeds in your business because you've built a smart business. So that's what I want for you and that's what I wanna set up for you today. So with that in mind, here are four things you need to take your photography hobby side hustle to a full-time business. So number one, first, in order to have a photography business, you have to have photography clients, right? Which means that they're signing contracts and paying your retainers, you're emailing them back and forth, scheduling times on your calendar, so on and so forth. And I think the best thing that you can do for yourself to set yourself up now for success is to have what's called a CRM. And this is a client relationship management tool. My favorite CRM to do all the things I just listed is HoneyBook. This is how when somebody reaches out, you can send them your pricing. And then whenever they pick a collection, they can go ahead and sign and then make a payment. And it's all super smooth. So instead of you emailing a PDF and asking them to sign it or asking them to Venmo you or something like that it just puts everything together in one really clear container and the other reason why I like it is you can as the business owner at a glance look at the dashboard inside of HoneyBook and see exactly where each and every one of your clients are at in the process of working with you and this is going to be so amazing for you when you're busy when you're bombarded with events and clients and shoots and edits and sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming to try to keep all of that in our heads and we really shouldn't be doing that as business business owners. So the best way I've found is to consolidate all of this into a CRM tool like HoneyBook. I've made a fair bit of videos about HoneyBook here on my channel, so I will link a couple up here and down below. But if you wanna give it a try and get 50% off your first year, I do have an affiliate link down below. And that brings us to your next tool. So second tool is that you need a project management tool. And what's funny is, before really diving into this and building out a business of my own, I didn't really see the difference between a project management and a client management. So HoneyBook is dealing with all the stuff with your clients, your contracts, your invoices, your emails, getting all your templates in order so that you save so much time. Whereas a project management tool like, let's say Notion, which is my favorite, and I've made a video about Notion before, that is going to hold all of the other projects you have going in your business. Maybe you are planning a styled shoot. Maybe you wanna get published or featured, or you have blog post content that you need to keep somewhere and not in your brain, right? And I keep mentioning this because it's important, getting everything outside of our brains so that they can live somewhere in an app or in a cloud or even on paper, if that's where you wanna go, makes so much more sense and is actually gonna free up your mind to be more creative and more organized. So having a project management tool is huge. Definitely check out the video where I talk about Notion. It's incredible. I won't get into all of it here, but it's a free tool, much like Trello or Asana or some of these other tools you might've seen people talk about before. But what I really like about Notion is that you can make this as complicated or as simple as you like. So it doesn't have to be this super overwhelming project management tool that you might've seen in the past, um, others use, and it might've been really overwhelming for you. So check it out, try it out, and see what you think of it and let me know. 
Next up, the next pillar is your editing and image delivery system. Now your editing and your image delivery are going to be something that work in tandem for you to be able to work efficiently and create consistent work, right? So editing is something that many photographers complain is taking up the most and the majority of their time, especially when they're not shooting. And so creating a workflow, creating a systems and steps that you can repeat very simply throughout your process is going to make you more efficient. But the other added benefit of this is that your work is going to actually start to be more consistent as well. And I know a lot of you have been asking how to get more consistent work, how to establish a more consistent style and really dialing in on your editing and post-production system and making sure that this is a dialed in repeatable steps procedure for you is going to be something that bears a huge weight in whether or not you have consistency across the board. So the next time you go to import your files to your computer and you've done a shoot and you're going to bring them on your computer, go through the whole process of post-production, and then you're going to make a gallery, document that process because I will bet you that you have opportunities throughout this entire process where you could create an import template inside of Lightroom, an export template inside of Lightroom. You should be seeing opportunities to save and use the same types of presets, whether you have a color preset and a black and white preset, maybe a preset for your indoor photos versus your outdoor photos. These are all areas where you can really dial in and get serious about your steps and your procedures to make sure that you're not just making this up every time you go to import your images where you know, you're saving it in the same place every time, you're naming the files the same way every time, and you're really thinking about what this process looks like so that you can repeat this action over and over and over. And the best part, you're going to get faster at it and you're gonna find ways that you can save time and create templates like I've mentioned here before. And you're also gonna see ways that you could create templates or shortcuts to make this so much faster for you. All right, so the fourth thing you're gonna need is a marketing system. Yes, you should be creating a system that you're repeating constantly and marketing constantly so that you don't have this feast or famine cycle in your business where sometimes you're getting all these inquiries and people are reaching out and sending you DMs and you feel like, okay, this is happening. I could actually take this full time and I could really make my hobby professional, right? But then you might have seasons where things get a little ghosty and it feels like, where is everybody? What's going on? It might be because you don't have a clear marketing system set up where you're repeating the same actions every week, every month, year after year so that you can create consistent leads in your business. You need a system for how you're gonna be marketing yourself consistently across all of your platforms, your social media, your website, and in between, maybe even in person and online, right? I created a video where I share my five-step marketing framework for how I think about my marketing and how I approach this every single week in my business to attract brides. It's called my five-step marketing framework for attracting dream brides and I will link that down below. So you'll be able to get the whole framework and really see how I think about marketing and how I put my work out into the world so that I'm really attracting and booking my ideal clients and it's less of a sales pitch and much more of an attraction formula. You'll also see information in there about my signature course, Hook and Book Brides and how you can get $200 off that course when you watch the video but you definitely don't need to do that. You can literally just watch the training and get all the value of how I approach marketing and use that, apply that to your own business. And I really urge you, if marketing is something that you feel like you're not doing super well, you're not doing super consistently, or you still feel like you have some gaps on you know, how it all works, check out that video, carve out some time right now in your calendar for watching that little training. I know it's gonna be super valuable for you. So these have been the four building blocks of things that I think you need if you're transitioning your business from a hobby part-time thing into a professional career. You need your client management software, your project management software, your editing and post-production workflow to be dialed in and a specific marketing plan. You guys know I love marketing. I could talk about this all day long and I actually have talked about this extensively here on my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and link a couple of really valuable marketing videos that are gonna talk about free or low cost ways to market your photography, how to think about your marketing, how your marketing needs to work together with your branding and so on and so forth. So if you're ready to dive deeper into the topic of marketing and really take your business to the next level this year, definitely check out those links. They're gonna be in the description section. I make videos just like 
this one every single week to help you transition into the role of photo boss and build a business that actually pays you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Consider sharing it with somebody who you think would also get some great value out of this. And as usual, I will see you next week. Bye guys.